What's up, beautiful people? It's your boy Drogba Jr. I'm back again. Um, sorry, guys, I've been gone for a while, and you guys have been seeing videos like pre-uploaded because um, I moved, I got a house, um, first time home buyer, which is pretty awesome. Um, so been doing a lot of work, a lot of projects. So I haven't really been too active on my channel, and so we're gonna be start a lot being active, and so though i just posted this like yesterday and oh my god you guys fan base are crazy the hog hangover gang um fan base of tom mcdonald is crazy and i appreciate the love i appreciate the support and it's kind of crazy because look keep calm and drink you know i just ironically wear this and you know it's just it's just it's just awesome man they, and the community is awesome everything is awesome and you guys have shown me love i'm trying to get two comments man i'm being busy like you know getting a home and putting it together is not easy especially running the content um channel is not easy and stuff like that but i appreciate the support honestly i truly truly do so before we get down to it man you know, keep showing me love, like the video. That's greatly appreciated, man. I know you guys are subbing, but like, you guys don't have to sub, man. I really don't care. I just enjoy the music. I enjoy his message. Um, Tom McDonald makes some fantastic message and it just, it drove me in, you know, the first one. Um, now I'm doing Dear Rapper by Tom McDonald. And I hope, man, I hope, you know, he speaks facts because the one, mental illness is not a joke and he truly truly said it and you know i i applaud someone who will tell his own story and is not afraid to you know say what they what they feel or how they are and what they're going through and and how they're trying to overcome it and stuff like that you know it, it gives strength to other people to be able to encourage other people to do it. But I'm rambling like crazy. I'm sorry. Normally, I don't do that. Um, let's get straight down to this video. And we're going to check out Dear Rappers. So, <sighs> Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe. Hmm. That is true though, like a lot of rappers do talk a lot about when they're back in the days, you know, da da da, and how they're wealthy and stuff. It does happen. He's tw Okay, how long ago was this video? I gotta figure that out because if he was 28 then, Jesus, it's not far age for me. It's not. Y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear yes. Yes. I mean, like, like, it, 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 it's really, really how it is in life. Um, that's relatable to so many people. Um, we try to just make it enough to just support our household you know i'm on that age now where i'm constantly like thinking about uh, his like how can i support um my household how can i do things you know at the same time doing stuff that i love you know this is something that i love to do but then this is not what i'm doing to support my household i do other things to support my household this is just a hobby of mine and and I get it. No gold tea, no chain, no gold chain. It's just me and my <laughs> my drinking shirt. That's it. Rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my god, what a mess. You work. Okay, that right there. I'm sorry, I'm keep pausing, but right there. That you have to show people love. Those people who bought your stuff, those people who support you, those people who do things for you, you know, you on your way to make you successful. Find the time out of your day to appreciate those people. Without them, there's no way. There's no way you make it, you know. 
There are some people who don't barely have any and they'll still go out their way to support you. So remember those people because those are the people that got you on top. You got to remember. I like Tom, man. Tom McDonald's spitting facts. Oh, let's go, man. Words help me deal with the stress Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest But these days it's like you don't have nothing left Your music feels kinda like you're trying to write a check Everything is digital, I mean no disrespect But I'm paying even more and you give me even less What the fuck? You that is facts. That is facts. Mainstream media and mainstream uh, artists tend to like run after the money now Um... First, when they start or uh, start going through and on coming up, just coming up based on, based on coming up setting, um, they they were just like spitting everything. But as soon as they make it big and stuff, you can see some of these artists change. You know, the message is not the same. They're just putting out projects after projects quickly without even working on the project, you know, um, putting their time and effort. I mean, they do put time and effort, obviously, it's their job, but like they don't put it as much, you know, being uh, good products, you know. And now it's just like chasing after the check because once you see that dollar sign, man, people just tend to, uh, you know, see that, that that commas, you know, those commas, man, people just tend to like, all right, bet, let me just put on another one. I don't care if it's good. If you guys hear that, that's my um, heater just kicking in. Um, I don't care if it's good. They just get putting that out. And that's not good, man. That's not a good message out there. That's not a good thing to do. You got to put quality content out, you know? It's greatly appreciated and your fans will greatly appreciate it because those guys will wait as long as it's possible. Some 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 artists, it takes two, three years to put out a next uh, project, but they still have those loyal followers, you know? Like, just like you guys, H-O, H -O, where is it? Yeah, H-O-G, gang. Why am I tripping? I was going to say something else, but I'm like, uh-uh. Hangover gang, come on, man. You taught me to think, you taught me to grow, you taught me the things to survive on my own, but now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think, every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars, or your fancy foreign cars, throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's dark, no, 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 no. Yeah, just a drug addict on TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Facts. Facts. Yo, the world is a lot bigger than people realize. And yes, you know, like that's uh that's the message, you know, money, drugs, and sex. Like Literally, that's a lot of rappers these days do. You know, they don't teach you about the message, you know, how to be, um, no disrespect, but like just a general, a general human being, a gentleman um, growing up because it's corny, you know, it's corny. It's literally how people will see you. Like, um, it's crazy because like in my age, right, we think, uh, we think like that and uh, be like, if you talk, a certain way or you try to treat people a certain way they be like why are you doing that man she like especially i have a couple of buddies of mine you know like i don't talk to them no longer but like they used to be like man she's just this man i'm just using her for this way that the white being like that white treat like I treat people with kindness. You treat me with kindness, I treat you with kindness. You treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. It just goes it just goes by that. It's a value. And then if you don't, I just stay away from you, you know? They don't teach them messages and stuff like that. You know, it's all about like let's just you know, if you're feeling anything, just you know, you want to have a good time, just drink a whole lot, you know, smoke a whole lot, you know, just just pop some pills. I had the time that I went through that with some of my guys I don't mess with anymore I had those moments you know because I was listening to those messages those rappers that were sending those kind of things and it didn't makes me happy it put me in a mindset that I'm was even worse than I was before and that was it you know I was chasing that thrill when I got that thrill it was not the thrill that I looked for now all I want to do is fish <laughs> I was this fish and play soccer.
that's my that's it that's what brings me happiness and this you know doing reaction listen to music positive music you know that's why i'll listen to anything you know i'm discovering a lot of lot of music rap jazz you know all of those and uh, rock metal it don't matter i'll listen to anything because why not why not this world is vast music is huge it's universal everything so you never know what you're into man so and uh, just be mindful of what kind of message uh, you're listening to or people who you're following because sometimes they don't deliver a good message Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me. Cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day. And all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been thank you and that's where i have issue this is where i have issue this is all facts it's factual you know um we yes i live in the u.s you know i live in the u.s and it's just crazy that like we we actually have a lot more issue but at the same time we have these powerful people those um um there's I get it. I get it. Sometimes you don't want to hear celebrities speak. I get it. Sometimes you don't want to hear those people. But like, if your music reach more people, you know, I'm not talking about actors and stuff like that. Like musician, a lot of people listen to music. So if you put in our music, and this is all going uh, going on, you know, that's why I had a lot of respect for like Lil Baby. Because Lil Baby actually did that, you know, he um, went beyond and there's some rappers that actually went beyond out of the way they marched, they did things and stuff. But there are some who just turn the blind eyes and just, you know, keep selling your products and uh, you're just like, oh, man, you know, just buy this, buy this, buy this designer thing and stuff. Bro, I have I don't even think I have any designer stuff, maybe like iPhone. Uh, my watch i think that i'll guess that if uh, my iWatch, watch my apple watch that's it um because i use that a lot to track my movement for soccer but that's it but honestly tom mcdonald's is, is, is it's just it's just saying fact man because like those rappers do do that it's it sucks because it feels like a sellout if y'all feel like sellouts to us to me personally i don't know about other people Blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women, don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap, and you taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars, throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's dark. No, 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 no. Yo, I was just gonna say this. Tom McDonald is impressed me even more. That's two. He's two for two. And y'all just keep telling me more. I guess the next one is um is Costlin. I gotta check out that one. But the crazy part is he's not missing right now. Tom McDonald is not missing, and it's crazy how it is. But I love it. Dear rappers, let, take notes, man, because because Tom McDonald is spitting facts, right? And per, apparently, it was a Canadian and wrestlers. This is a wrestler coming to uh, um, the rap game and killing y'all. Period. Period. Blank. Period. He's killing y'all. I I ain't got nothing to say about it, but yeah, he's gonna have to be one of my favorite rappers now. Oh my gosh, let's go. Drug addict, don't take I don't it. want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's hard. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV.
Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. You know, I've been, I've been sitting here and just been like that, but I am genuinely, genuinely happy with this. Um, man, I tell you what, guys, I. Everything he said is factual. Everything he's done is factual. Everything, everything, man. I, I genuinely enjoy. Cause my favorite like rapper growing up was Lil Wayne, and I'm not even lying. I started mimicking and doing quite a few stuff that he was doing, and it wasn't good. It wasn't good, and I started realizing that I was going down a bad rabbit hole. And I had people tell me, you have so much potential in life. Why are you doing that? You're going to waste it. I didn't care because I'm trying to live the lifestyle like Lulu Wayne did. But I'm just a kid. You know, I'm just a kid and I didn't know better. But then, you know, something clicked on me one day and I just never looked back. And I won't, I won't look back. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Sorry, it's going to be a long one and a little bit of rambling and stuff. Um, you know, a little dive dip into my life and stuff like that. But I like him a lot. I like Tom McDonald, man. A crazy, crazy guy. But like, good, good heart, good, uh, good message. I can tell. Good message, good heart. Um, great music video, actually. Um set the tone you know it's a perfect tone um, right there i like i like the visual right there it just shows you everything don't have to be extravagant it just shows you that but yeah i'll see you guys later man peace out